everybody. Solo Black 313 coming at you. It is a beautiful Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. And life is good. All right. Well, today it's about 2.30. Uh, I got up this morning and as you guys know, I've told you that I will be moving by the end of October and um, into a house from an apartment. And I have some roommates and they've given me, they've given me the run of the garage. It's a two car, gar uh, two -car garage and I'll be, um, they don't use the garage so it's mine. So I've been going over there cleaning out plus I helped them do a little, I did a little drywall work this morning. So now it's 2.20, I'm on my way back home. But uh, something interesting happened to me yesterday. And, um, uh, you know, I've been riding over 30 years. I've been riding my motorcycle over 30 years. I've had some brief periods where I didn't ride. But anyway, so, uh, as you guys know, I have a 2001 Honda A750. And right now it needs tires. So I'm trying to go about this the cheapest and the most effective way I possibly can. Um, for some reason, um, and I've never had this hard of a time, uh, the big bike shops, uh, well, I'll just say it, the big bike shops, the quickest turnaround time I can get from having my tires installed on my uh, Honda Ace is three weeks. Three weeks to change some tires three weeks now I understand these guys get busy but like I say this is at a uh, you know a big box uh, motorcycle dealership I've all, I only do I only deal with two I love them but the one the one guy was you know three weeks and the other guy was you know two weeks so I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna wait so um this past Sunday, I went riding with a friend of mine. He has a, um, a Harley, and he recommended me to his guy. This guy's an independent. He's got a small shop in one of the suburbs of Detroit. I know exactly where it was. Been past the place a million times, just never had a reason to stop by. So yesterday, yesterday Monday, I get up at 9 o'clock. I called the guy, but his line was busy. So I said, well, you know what? I got to go that way anyway. I'll shoot out there. And when I get finished, I'll stop back by, talk to this guy. So I pull up in the back and uh, the back of his shop. And he's got, you know, like all these nice bikes. He probably had, he has two garages right next to each other. I guess one is like mainly the showroom. And the other one is the show. Um, it, the back of it is a garage part where he does repairs. And uh, the other one is, the other building is where they do store, store most of the bikes and do a lot of repairs also. They got stalls in that one. So I pull up to the back, he sees me, he comes out. And when he came to the door, I knew I was in for a shock because the guy was shaking his head. He was shaking his head, but he was smiling. So I'm like, hey, how you doing? Um, my friend Quentin recommended, to, recommended me to you. Uh, I need to get some tires put on. He says, I don't work on Harleys. I mean, oh, he says, I only work on Harleys. I don't work on Hondas. What do you do trying to get me killed? And I'm looking at the guy and I can't tell if he's being serious or not, you know? So I say, what? He says, well, yeah, man, you know, um, you know, we, we only work on, I only work on Harleys. I say, oh, well, I mean, I don't want you to do any, you know, like motor work to it. I just need a, I just need to get some tires. You know, I'll buy the tires. I can have them here by Thursday. And can you put them on? He says, well, yeah, well, you know, my technicians don't like working on anything but Harleys. And I'm still dumbfounded. I'm, I'm tripping out. I'm like, dude, it's a motorcycle. He says, yeah, man, you know, it is. But I said, well, wait a minute, aren't you the owner? He says, yeah. I said, so you mean tell me you let your technicians dictate your work? And, and here's the thing about it. The guy is not pressed for work. I mean, he had work up the wazoo. I mean, you know, from what I hear, the guy does quality work and, and by the amount of bikes that he had in his shop, hey, I think he does too. So I said, dude, it's just a, it's a tire. He says, yeah, well, you know, Hondas have drum brakes. 
I say, and he says, well, Harleys don't. I say, oh, I'm sorry. So your tire changing machine uh, can't do a drum break? He says, oh, yeah. So now, like I say, at this point, I don't know if he's joking or if he's telling the truth or, or what. But then he starts laughing. He says, well, you know, if we do this, you know, my technicians won't work on it. I'll, I'll have to change the tire. I say, okay, well, if I get the tire to you Thursday, because I can get them here by Thursday, uh, can you put it on Thursday? He says, oh, no, you know, I can't do that. I said, now, well, well, what's your turnaround time? He says, five days. I was like, five days? So, let's get past that. I'm not going to be able to get the tires done. Well, first of all, uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy the tires online. They will be here by Thursday. But today, I also ordered some spoons and a bead breaker. I have two bikes. Maybe I should just go ahead and start doing my own tires. Um, but, I, but this guy, so I guess my question is, have any of you guys ever dealt with that Harley versus the world type thing? Because I'm telling you, man, I, I've, I've never really experienced, whoa. I've never really experienced anything like that before in the whole 30 years I've ridden. I had one other run-in, I guess you'd call it, with a Harley guy. It's back in 2008. Like I said, I had a 2006 V-Rod, and I was at a bike function. I can't even remember where I was at, but there was a bunch of it is, there was a bunch of Harley guys there, and there was, you know, a bunch of other type of motorcycles. But this 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 old school Harley dude walks over to me and he says, "Yeah." Uh, that's a nice bike, you know, it'd even be better if it was a real Harley. And so I looked at the dude, I said, oh, it's a, it's a V-Rod. He says, well, well, you know, that's not a real Harley. And so I, I kind of chuckled, I said, well, why you say that? He says, well, real Harleys don't need watering. Aha. So <laughs> I don't know if you know, if, if some of you, I'm sure some of you know and some of you don't know, the V-Rod was one of the very, I think not the very first, but one of the first Harley bikes um, Harley motorcycles that was liquid cool, water cool. And some old school traditional Harley guys don't like the fact that it wasn't air cooled. Plus, the motor was designed for the V Rod by Porsche. Um, I don't know if this has ever really happened before with Harley as far as them having other companies um, design their stuff other than. I guess when they had Buell, but that's not the same. They never had Porsche. Porsche just designed the motor. It was a collaboration there. So I would like to get some comments on some of your experiences non-Harley non riders have had with Harley riders and if Harley riders have had bad experience with non-Harley riders. I guess you know I, I'm 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 like that guy that you hear a lot of times. I'll ride anything. I do not care. I had a V rod. I got the I got this Honda ST 1300. I'm riding now. I got my Honda uh, uh, Ace at home. You know I had a, a old school Katana. I think it was a 600 or 650 back in in the late uh, 80s, early 90s. I had a um, excuse me. I had a CBR 600. Um, you know, yes, I've had more Hondas, but it's not like it's not like that. I was I'm I'm a, I'm a Honda fanboy. You know, it's just that those are the bikes that I happen to run across and that that I had that I've had the most of. You know, um, I'm looking at that. You know, um, Kawasaki um, 1000. I think that's a nice bike. You know, I would buy that. I mean, I'm also looking at the VFR 800, but I'm looking at that Kawasaki 1000. I like, I like that Triumph. Um, I like the Triumph Rocket. I like the Indian FTR 1200. I really like that Indian FTR 1200. Um, but I also like the CV 1000R. You know, the Neo Cafe style bike. So, I mean, so comment, that's what I guess I'm a, I don't want to keep rambling, but, but I would like you guys to comment if you've had negative uh, run-ins with Harley guys, and if Harley guys have 
had negative run-in with the rest of the people on this planet that rides different motorcycles other than Harley. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. This is uh, this is Solo Black 313, Rise and Ride. I want you guys to be safe with one another. And I...